episode of Gallifrey Pirate Radio. Thank you, Sex. Um, this week we are reviewing um, A Good Man Goes to War. That we are. Yes, that we are. Um, let's kick off by starting with introductions before we jump into this episode. The, the, the mid-season uh, cliffhanger. Um, yes, but let's start down there with um, sex. I'm sex. Sup. Is that all you have to say? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I am a little drunk. He's also legal. known as Clay Clayton. He's legal. It's okay. Yeah. And I am your 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 master host here. Um, master chief. No host. Um, Davey Beauchamp, who has just gotten back from uh, Con Carolinas, where um, we filmed two Doctor Who panels with some really awesome people um, on those panels, which will come shortly after this episode. But let's just get let's just jump right into this week's episode, and um, we're gonna do it a little differently. We're gonna start by what you did not like about this episode. <laughs> For me, it's because I I don't know. A lot of things yet. I think I'll like it once I know some answers, like about the the Gamma Force people, like who the Salarian lady was and the Blue Man, and all those you know all the people who are returning their debt to the Doctor. So that kind of, you know, without having that back history, made me a little bit lost, and I wasn't able to appreciate the episode as much you know as I could have. Okay. Good, good answer, good answer. But is it on the board? Uh, we'll get back to that during your question and answer period. Yes, I know. But that was the only thing I was really disappointed in. Like, it's just me not knowing enough information. So basically you're disappointed in yourself and uh, the actual episode. You know, who was supposed to give me some Doctor Who to watch? Who's supposed to be my educator and my mentor? Ho oh. ho! Who? Who's not teaching me? Who's Piper? Not... No, you. Shut up, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing that really disappointed me about this episode is when a nurse capable of producing magnificent amounts of lactic fluid died, but that usually depresses me. Also, the other thing that bothered me, I didn't even realize this bothered me until I got onto a forum and then someone had said, Hey, you know what would be really awesome? If it turned out that River had been the master the whole time, then that didn't happen. And I went, hey, that would have been pretty awesome. But you know what? This plot twist is pretty cool, too. For me, the, the odd thing is, the disappointment came from, I was really hoping we weren't going to find out who River Song was in this episode, but we found it. I was hoping we were going to find out who she killed in this episode. Um, but, I mean, that's just... You know, the way Moffat had been tr uh, sort of leading us uh, made it seem like that's what we're going to find out on this episode. But um, we found out who she was, which I was right. Um, so I was kind of excited by that. Um, but, okay. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure that she kills Rory anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't want that to happen. I think that's what's going to happen. Unless, the greatest man she ever knew. Unless, of course, they introduce somebody we don't know. Yeah. Which is a possibility. I mean, because we're not there yet. True. But now let's uh, kick it off with what did we really like about this episode? Everything. Yeah, if you whisper it, they can't hear you. I um, loved almost everything of it, aside from me not under understanding it, which we'll find out in a little bit, because yeah. Mr. Master will teach me. <laughs> um, but I liked how they, they started out the episode with Amy. And her monologue. Yeah. And the twist where you're like, some people are going to be like, she's talking about the doctor, her, her. And I'm like, no, nah, she's talking about Rory. It's the second time they've done that this season, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, with the, with the little red yeah. hand implant. Yeah, but did you notice what she said in that monologue? Which part? Jur that she says that he's not human. Well, yeah. He's not exactly human. Yeah, he's a little bit more than that at this point. Yeah. He's the last centurion. He wasn't at some point a plastic, according to the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. 
Which yeah. means in this reboot reality, what exactly is Rory? Exactly. So what did you like about this episode? I I liked a lot of things about it actually. I liked the uh, the army that the Doctor composed. I'm sort of siding with all of the internet people who really hope that the Silurian reptile woman lesbian Sherlock Holmes stand in <laughs> turns out to get her own spin off someday or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be awesome, if actually. If ever there was a character who deserved it, there you go. Yeah. Uh, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I like the introduction of Lorna Bucket, because she she's one of the better red herrings I've ever seen in anything ever. She sticks around and gets just enough screen time to trick you into thinking, hey, maybe this is River. I mean, e even, her, uh, even her last name sort of serves for that. Bucket. Smallest body of water possible. Yeah. <laughs> But I just thought there was a lot of really cool stuff going on, and I thought that pretty much every character note was hit exactly the way that it had to have been. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Um, for me, I think the best thing about this episode was how different it was. Yeah. It was... It, it, did not, it didn't feel like your typical Doctor Who episode, from Classic Who to New Who. It really stood out with the pacing and with, with the storytelling. I mean, it just... Just the production on it was just so different, um, and I re it really, I don't say caught me off guard, um, but I really enjoyed just the way it was. It seemed like one giant action sequence that just did not stop. I mean, there was a little exposition, but it just kept building and building and building and building to sort of the payoff. I mean, and there were some minor dips and lulls in there, you know, to help the story along. But I mean, it just I really liked the way. Overall, it was filmed, um, but that's that's just me noticing uh, something different with the show. And 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 now we will dive straight into the Q and A portion. Of Thank this, you of this episode. Um, what do you want to know? Everything. Well, <laughs> okay. Let's start with the Gam Force people. Yes. Uh, do, does this tie in with the library episode at all? Nothing no. at all yet. That's that's what I, that's one of the reasons why I love Moffat is that. We haven't gotten that story yet. It's Blink all over again, where the characters experience something before the Doctor. Oh, okay. And so that's going to be, we're hoping, maybe... That's why he didn't know who Lorna was. Right. But the reason why he at least knew that they ran through the forest and what her name was is because when he touched her face, he did his little, let me gleam your, the surface memories. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping we get that episode in the second half of the season where we see her as a little girl or you know we can wait to next season because there's still one key thing that we haven't heard about and they haven't brought back up is the TARDIS exploding because okay. I really don't think these these people were responsible for the TARDIS exploding so yeah. I still think there's more and one thing I noticed really odd about the uniforms is that there is a symbol that was on those uniforms mm. the Omega yeah. Which ties into the Three Doctors story and Omega, the one who basically helped Rossalon and the, the other Time Lords, there were three of them, create the time travel, time travel technology. Okay. So I'm kind of wondering if the person behind this army could be Omega. It, it may not be, you know, it's just that's the thing with Moffat. He likes keeping the fans guessing with just little tidbits of classic coup thrown in uh, now and again. Okay. One of the yeah. things that really fascinates me is that they haven't gone too far out of their way to make us believe that these guys are competent in any way. <laughs> that they've most, they're mo as far as we can tell, they've mostly just sort of accidentally kidnapped someone important and then gone as far with that as they could. But really all that they've proven to be good at is retreating. Yeah, it seems like the only person that was really knew anything or what was going on was the the one-eyed lady yeah it's like she used these people which at, at one point I, i've been thinking to myself i'm wondering to myself could this be the ronnie but of course i really don't think it's the case but i mean it's somebody that knows of the doctor um and sees him as a threat 
What about these these uh, characters who are returning the debt to the Doctor? I have not seen enough of the previous episodes to know exactly. Um, the the Slurry, oh, not Slurry, um, the um, oh, Potato Head guy. I'm blanking on the name of the race right now. I can't believe that. You mean the guy with the lactic fluids? Yeah. Um, that might be tied into the David Tennant episode where they appeared. Okay. Um, my, I mean, my brain is literally mush. Thank you, Con Carolinas, and I do mean that in the most positive way possible. Um, that's, unless, of course, the Doctor goes up against them again, and, and we see this, the nurse, uh, pop up. But I have a feeling that that's a reference to that episode. I do like how, you know, when he's dying, that he says this thing that, that Rory says to, to Amy a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse. Yeah. Yeah, that could almost pass off as foreshadowing, couldn't almost. it? Yeah, I mean, I'm so torn about the Rory thing because I really don't want to see him die again. I really <laughs> like that character. I think what this episode has convinced me is that the dude is leveled up. Oh, no, hell yeah. I mean, honestly, out of the entire show, I mean, Classic Who, New Who, everything in between, Rory is one of the most developed characters I've ever had in a show. I mean, he has grown the most. I mean, he starts off in that first episode, dude jumping in his own shadow, basically, mm -hmm. and now he steps up when he needs to step up. Yeah, um, totally. His time with the Doctor, his love of Amy has really caused him to grow as a character and I would really hate to see them kill him off. I mean they haven't killed off a lot of companions in the history of Who, but they have. Okay. Who's the Salarian? So, so yeah, yeah, that comes from the two parter from the first uh in season five, um where they int introduced the new uh Solarians, um that look different from the uh, classic Usalarians. Okay. Um, and that that's where we get her from. But we don't we don't know how she met Jenny. Okay. Her her companion. And I'll tell you that I really want that story. What yeah, about that'd be pretty great, the yeah. blue man? He pops up now now and again throughout the show. Well, he's like I'm a fat coward. Don't want me. No. No. He's basically a scoundrel. He um, he's a traitor. If you have the money, he'll get you the information. He'll get you wherever you need. And I'm gonna have to vacuum my floors after this. Because you you're causing my poor cat the shed, and I have company coming. Um, Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I, I got the vacuum out still. But I mean, he actually um, in the season finale of last last season. Am I right? He's one that shows sells River the um, the time manipulator from the time agent in order for her to get back in time to meet up with the doctor. Yeah, in the two parter. Hey, my question is, how does River? Did, did she just randomly show up? Like, because I, I haven't seen hardly that many River song episodes, you, so... You've seen a lot of them. Um, but, I, I mean, I don't see that... I, I don't know how that she time, how she time travels. I just know that she... We don't know. We, oh, we still don't know. Yeah, we she don't... She just I kind mean, of popped up, you know, being like, No, well. I mean, she's... No, she's traveled through time with the Doctor. You'd almost think she was half Time Lord or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, oh! She's traveling time with a Vortex Manipulator. Okay. Um... Thank you.